Hello, welcome back to Cryptozilla channel, this time again with another Dotsama news video covering Snow Network securing a slot on Kusama, round 2 of Moonfit NFT sale, also the launch of rare Sama NFT marketplace and Gromlin's collection, plus a reminder of today's interesting Dotsama gaming round table, you can use the timestamps down below to skip ahead. First Snow Network, Snow secured a parachain slot on Kusama by winning the auction 51 with the total of almost 14,000 KSM. Snow Network is estimated to onboard on Kusama around September 19th and the lease period will last till the end of August next year. After Snow onboards into Kusama ecosystem, a period of reward calculations, node configuration and network testing will begin. This period will take several weeks. This warm-up period also involves the preparation of some ICZ token incentive program with projected utility for early ICZ holders. So this is nice cause it means ICZ token will have some utility from the very get-go of the network launch. Since there will be no vesting for ICZ crown on rewards, once those rewards rewards calculations are finished, all contributors will receive their entire ICZ rewards, so at most few weeks after Snow launches. Now Moonfit app and NFT sale. The second round of Moonfit NFT sale will go live on Saturday, September 24th. Here is all you need to know to mint Moonfit NFTs. In the second round, 1500 Moonfit NFTs will be available to mint, the price is slightly higher compared to the first round, 119 Glimmer, plus you will also need a mint pass. All 10,000 Genesis NFTs are either common or uncommon, the ratio is 9 to 1 in all sale rounds. Also the ratio of Beasts and Beauties NFTs is around 9 to 1 in all sale rounds. The better rarity of NFTs will be born with breeding after the main net of Moonfit app is launched, Anyone who holds these Genesis NFTs will be able to get a beast or a beauty with a higher rarity by breeding. Also, all Genesis NFT holders will be whitelisted for the sale round of MFG token, which is a Moonfit governance token, the total supply will be 210 million, and the token sale is scheduled for the quarter 4. The more Moonfit NFTs you will hold, the higher will be the maximum allocation of MFG tokens you will be able to buy, the exact numbers will be updated later. You can buy a mint pass on Tofu NFT very cheap, the floor is now only 3 Glimmer. Also minted beasts and beauties are already trading, the floor price of a beast is 95 Glimmer and 650 Glimmer for a beauty. Rounds 2 of NFT sale will be launched here on the official Moonfit website. And now NFTs again, but a different project, Rare Sama and very much hyped Gromlins. Once again, Dotsama Twitter got flooded with the pictures of a new NFT collection from Sama NFT Bears. This time it wasn't Exosama nor fishes from Ponsama, but these creatures called Gromlins. Gromlin's NFT collection has been listed on a brand new NFT marketplace built on Moonbeam called Rare Sama. Rare Sama is an NFT marketplace governed and curated by Moonsama and Exosama community. So Rare Sama is a new flagship NFT marketplace developed by the dev team led by Donny Big Bags. As you surely know, this team is also behind other NFT projects from Sama Verse such as Moonsama, Exosama and Ponsama. The concept of Rare Sama is to be an NFT marketplace for art with long-term support and potential to go into Moonsama's future metaverses. Rare Sama will be 100% community governed and curated, which means verified NFTs on the marketplace will have to be voted in by the Moonsama and Exosama community. So it will be Moonsama and Exosama NFT holders who will be in a full control of the development of Rare Sama platform. Rare Sama is deployed on Moonbeam network, thus all art pieces and NFTs are auctioned using Glimmer. For now Rare Sama launched with basic functionality, here are some of the features coming to Rare Sama in the future. Now finally Gromlins, the trading of Gromlins on Rare Sama started few days back on Saturday. Gromlins is a collection of 3,333 vicious looking creatures. Before the trading began, Gromlins were airdropped onto Moonsama NFT holders and selected Exosama community members based on a Telegram group snapshot. So most of Exosama community members received one Gromlin per each Exosama premium as long as they were a member of the latest Exosama Telegram group. Only 100 Gromlins were available for a public min for one Glimmer each. Gromlins will be featured in Novaverse, so along with Exosamas, which will be the main NFT collection in Novaverse, also Gromlins will be part of this universe. 
Exosama is launching on September 21st and these equipable NFT avatars will be minted on Ethereum with their composability on Polkadot. Gromlins have no initial utility apart from breeding, so later every holder will be able to make baby Gromlins. So Gromlins have completely taken over Dotsama NFT scene. Right after listing, the price floor of a Gromlin reached over 1000 Glimmer, currently sitting at 1.9 thousand Glimmer, and here are Gromlins latest sales. You can view these stats on rarsama.com by clicking on stats. So basically, given the pre-mint price of Exosama was $1000, if someone sells their Gromlin now for 2000 Glimmer and then sells Glimmer for the current trading price around 50 cents, they get their Exosama pre-mint costs back. And that still might not be all, as Johnny tweeted yesterday about another Exosama Telegram snapshot, so more freebies could be airdropped to Moonsama and Exosama community. Perhaps some audio NFTs to showcase the collaboration with public pressure? Just guessing. And at the end a reminder of this Dotsama Gaming Roundtable starting today at 1 pm Eastern Standard Time, 7 pm Central European Time. I suspect a lot of great alpha will be shared by all four speakers, the founders of blockchain-based NFT games, Everloot, The Damned Pirate Society, Exile Tracers and Fala World. They will be sharing the latest updates from their NFT projects as well as their personal views on which narratives drives them to build blockchain-based games and also if they think this market is sustainable. Personally, I'm pretty curious mainly about what Davy Jones of the DPS project will have to say. I'm a big fan of the DPS, Hold Few Pirates, and I believe this will be the first time he will be talking live like that, so definitely tune in. That's been it for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.